Yo, 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 my star citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Mennings. And today I'm on with my good friend Kilthanis. And what we're going to do today is look at Kilthanis's ships. So Kilthanis is mainly a multi uh, ship, a multi crew ship type of person. He only really comes on with his um, with other people. He doesn't really do solo. So we're going to go through his ships and why he has his ships and stuff like that. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take that pointer and tickle that like button for us. It really does help us out. And don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. There's also the join membership button where you can support us further. And also, if you are new to Star Citizen, the code dropping down in the top at the moment. If you use that code, you can um, get 5,000 credits when you start your character and it also pushes me up in the rankings as well so yeah we hope you like this one guys and we're gonna get into it <laughs> minimus you still got the Welcome identity the uh no, no it was uh it, when we get when it was part of the event thing wasn't it yeah but you bought that no i didn't i bought carrick oh yeah bought carrick yeah yeah that's right Okay, so let me just grab a ship in, so we'll go to the top list. So, so what have you got ship-wise? So I've got... High Seas uh, Expedition. So let's get, let's get the... Let's go for the... Only Defender. Hercules. So get, Drake Cutter. So I need to get that one back. Is that the top one? Your insurance claim has been and, sent. Uh, Yep, yeah, it's good, isn't it? We've got none of the ships here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get this back. This, this is going to be a great video. Your insurance claim has been sent. So I've got... So we, can, we can have a look at the... Uh, Corey. Your insurance claim has been sent. Well, yeah, you got By the time we come back... By the time we come back... Your insurance claim has been sent. Uh, so I've got Empress Harbour. So we start off with the base at small. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Goodbye. <clears throat> Inga free. One. Which one is it? So you're going to talk a little bit about Pisces. Pisces. So you're going to talk a little bit about your ships and your yeah. mindset. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this, this is this one that she's like. Um, this is a bit more of a memory thing, you know, like a, you know, fond memory, I suppose, of of uh, our early days. Yeah. This one's not Where pledge, we... is it? It's not pledge. It's no, this is this is a bought in game. Uh, yeah, was it bought in game? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, in game. <clears throat> would you I mean, buy hard. it in pledge, it, it, or would you just go for the for the red? I'd go for red. Go for the red. Go for the red. It's hard to, to imagine that the uh, you've got like a whole med bay on this the, the red. Yes, yeah, here in it, the med bay is here, and the, the sinking that is yeah. here, and then There's one drink, drink sheet drinks there. are right here. Yeah, you got the jump ship and then your your panel there. So yeah, yeah, definitely. I just think this uh, like is a waste, like four units yeah. or whatever this, it is. It, it was haulage, though, wouldn't it? It was just for, just for low budget haulage, for box yeah. missions. I think for me, um, I, I like this ship because we had some really good memories of trying to you know dying. Find <laughs> yeah, because they give us it. The ship and... They give us it, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, um, um, that's right. In one of the events, if I remember, and that's where I—that's where I fell in love with. You want to get one gun on because you bashed it's... your other one off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> so, so if I, yeah. I think it's if just... I got my, it's it's like a shuttle, would it really? My. I think if you were like in Star Trek or something, this would be like a shuttle craft. Yeah. 
I mean, he's got four guns to four guns yeah, to um, missiles. What? What airlock? What? You know, what well I mean, What size are these? Though? Is it twos or something? I think these are ones here on the on the wing. One no, on one repeaters, and these are twos. Yeah. Twos. Yeah. Well, would have been two two twos, but. I think they might be gimbaled as well. Yeah, the gimbal twos. That's what, that's what happens when you do. So that's your your ship. So you you won't be keeping that, though, will you? No, no, no. I, I will. I, I am going to invest in the in the, in the red. So it's just it's just such such good utility. But another ship. I like this. It's put it this way. I, I prefer this by country mile to your nomad that you had. Yeah. I love the yeah, Nomad. Yeah, yeah. The Nomad. I'm, I was considering getting it again. The Nomad. I love I, I it. I thought. I think the the Nomad is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And yeah, I just it's just not for me. The Nomad. Yeah, I think this one has just become obsolete though with the red. I think if everybody has a choice between this and the red, I think ninety nine percent of the time they're going to go red. Yeah. Gotta go red. So I wonder if they'll have modules so that if you had like a Pisces now, like this one here, that you could spend like, you know, ten dollars or whatever and get like a you know, make it into a into a red or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you don't splash out you know, splash out six dollars or whatever it is for red. Yeah. Uh, just add ten ten dollars to it. Well then... you can upgrade it anyway, can't you? You can just do it in the upgrades, yeah. couldn't you? For the upgrade, because you'd probably do the same. You'd probably be worth around the same, wouldn't it? Yeah, I suppose. So. Make it cheaper. Yeah. You would. You would. Oh. Ooh, that's so, what's your daily driver? That's, that's the first one I think we should go to. What's your daily driver? Uh, this is this is in a daily driver. I quite like. Although. It's, uh, it's the Corey. Cool. The Corey. Something about the ship again. The Corey, yeah. It's not pledged, though, is yeah, it? Gonna... No. So, would you would you consider getting this in pledge? Hangar three. What, what would you What That's would you get in pledge to be your daily driver? It'd be the red. The red. I think so, yeah. But that's not to say no one had this as well. Yeah. It was, as a little know, combat ship, because it's, it's just quiz, combat. So. It's not a combat, is it? This one, is it? No, it's not a combat, it's is just, it? No. It's, but this one's again, um, it's got a special feature. It's only got one gun on one side. <laughs> that's a, that's a, What's it missing? <laughs> there's a pattern emerging. Yeah, there is definitely of, of, of rubbish, of rubbish driving. So. One thing I like about this ship is we got that um, the cat in there, don't we? The cat, is that the cat, the grey cat. The grey cat, yeah. Like it's um, storage, although it's not massive. Yeah, um, so we can get in here three, six. So six, this is a six. This is a six, though. But we got that cat in there, don't we? The grey cat. Yeah. That was really useful. Yeah. So you could have like a parrot in there. Oh, that sound makes me feel cold. Does it? Mm. That sort of hummy sound. Yeah, it makes me feel cold. I think um, they could have done a bit more with this thing, but yeah. it's still too mad. The, the one thing I so... don't I, I don't like about this series of, of ship is is obviously if you get the one with the bed, you, yeah. you got and you at the moment with the bug when you bed log off, yeah. it takes puts your landing gear down, and when it puts your landing gear down. Or yeah, up, or whatever. It puts your landing gear up. Sorry, it, it this spins, doesn't it? So you can't actually access yeah. this here. So if your so, bed's out here in the back and you get out of bed and your landing yeah. gear's up, this is spun and and these doors close and you can't get through here because it's spun. So yeah, that's yeah. a massive oversight. That yeah, is true. massive oversight. I think for me, I think it's one of the most visible, best visibility. Yeah, um, you love this. You Love this ship, but would you buy it? Would you would you pledge it, or would you just buy in game if again? Was, if it was like forty quid, I probably would. Yeah. 
you know, for 40 quid. Because I say, you know, it's... um. So... Visibility-wise, there's, there's, there's so much visibility, it's untrue. Yeah, I loved it. I do love it. I, I mean, I loved the um, the other version of it, the, the fighting version of it. I liked that. Yeah. Um, so this, what, what's your mindset on on pledging and non-pledging? So obviously you saw the video I put out myself about yeah. pledging and, and me saying like, I, I only got a couple of ships and then I'll buy the rest in game. And someone commented on one, one of the things and, say, and said, you know, you only really need one to pledge for one ship, but um, obviously, and you can buy the rest in game, but it's every, but, but everybody's money is their money and what they do with it is up to them. And if they prefer to do that, then that's that's cool. Um, but, uh, you know, and he said like, you know, he appreciated that we said you can buy, it's, we can buy them in game and, and that's probably the best way to go. It's, it's um, you know, it, for me, it's like having someone that's actually phys not physical, it's never physical, but, but you know, you don't have to sort of focus on trying to earn a ton load of money in the game. Yeah. So uh, at some point, you're going to lose, you know, the uh, some of the ships you've got, like Carrick, that's going to go. Yeah. Because of the wipe. Uh, so I think it's all down to, you know, your how you are in the game. Yeah. Some people will just buy one ship because they can only afford one ship. And then they'll do small steps, they'll tra trade it in. Yeah. Trade it in until they get to, you know, add a ship. Uh, but as you know, in other games, loads of people got, you know, tons of money, so they just go and buy what they want. So they go and buy a Pisces bed, and then they just go, you know, get something else. Yeah. Have like a. a, a... So you don't, it takes a kind of the stress out of. Grinding, trying to earn the money. Yeah, yeah I so, remember you said to me, and this is one of the, the replies I said back to the to the to the lad was, your your what I thought of your mindset and what you've told me before is, you'd rather just pay cash out because you don't have time to come home and grind yeah. for hours, whereas yeah. Yeah. some people get yeah. time to grind for hours and can get that. Yeah. Whereas you just want to get a ship and be able to enjoy that ship and the money you've obviously spent on it is your your money yeah. to to do that and you yeah. love that as a pastime and and yeah. you know you're not spending your money on other stuff that you could be spending yeah. it on you know so, gambling or so stuff the other thing like i mean there'll, there'll always be this um thing of where well, the games will finish blah, blah, blah. but at the end of the day if i get four years five years out of the game it's just feasible yeah completely feasible uh then to me it's not that much investment i'm ready not it's like uh six seven hundred quid maybe yeah so far, that's like over four or five years. I mean, that's not a great deal, is it? No. You know, I don't think so for a game. I've game, spent a I've game absolute fortune on, on games like yeah, yeah, Card so and, and uh, Destiny and stuff like that. I have well, spent an absolute fortune. I'm spending Warcraft. £7 a month. So that's like 18 Eighty quid a month, a year. But then I was also buying in-game stuff like transferring characters over and stuff like that. So over the course of seven, eight years, I spent loads of money. Yeah. Uh, but it's what you get out there, isn't it? You know, I wouldn't buy a ship if I didn't want it. That's for sure. But I didn't think there was, you know, purpose for it. You know, I am a bit of a snob. Sure. So that's why I, I like the luxury side of things, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you're probably more about the uh, actually, you know, the, the stuff actually works, you know, it's, it's for a purpose. So I'd get like a baby merchant man and probably bring it out once a month. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, it's almost like, what's the point? Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's just me. Whereas you'd probably buy something and fly it down. I would definitely, you know, the Pisces red is definitely my horizon because I actually like the ship as well. Uh, I like this one. I do like this one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to head up. Get the next one out. Yeah, I'm just going back on it. It's just a fun ship that, you, you know, it's got a, a little bit of utility and it's got very good. I like the, the whole spinny, spinny thing anyway. Yeah. So you wouldn't fact, pledge got... just yet for it? Not just yet. You no. go for the you, so your next pledge is going to be the Pisces be the red, one. little red. Yeah, yeah. 
That's the next one, I think. And then I'll look at this one. With two guns on there. <laughs> 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 So let's see what the next one's going to be. It's probably going to be a badly defender, actually. So the thing is, is, is all this changes for you when the uh, the, the merchant man comes down. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Where are you heading? I'm going. Yeah, leave me, please. Welcome yes. To the vehicle I'll, I'll need to get a look fire. Yeah. So, so let's still a badly. Vehicle selected. Guess what? Guess what, Hagger? Three? Three. Yeah. So, what you got in our Banu Defender? Yeah. Okay. So, I guess we've got to be super critical as well, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. I know you don't like this shit. I know you don't like yeah. it. So, what's your what's your actual plans? Like, you with my video, I was saying, like, I wanted a moneymaker, which is the Hull A, yeah. and I wanted a... Um, a five small fighter and I wanted a daily driver. And... It's gonna be very similar to that. Yeah. It's gonna be very similar. I mean stunning looking shit. Yeah, oh, yeah. It does look like it's, it's got amazing. a lot of purpose. But I just found it was I struggled with this yeah, to do it. It's not easy, it. It wasn't maybe... easy, was it? No. I mean he's flown the one, haven't you? Yeah. He's gone so cool. Not... He's gone to look cool. It, it, it... It looks like it should do a lot better. I don't think you can actually get these guns other than for this, other than, other than like yeah. what what you get here. Yeah, it's um, not. It's not. Um, so you can't it's a bit buy like them. Apple and Microsoft, is it? Yeah. You can't. You can't just go and get them off the shelf. But <clears throat> I love the sounds like, of these alien ships. I, I like the the you know the sort of that way that comes down. I love the you know the whole sort of interior bit. Yeah. You know, it's very alien, isn't it? So you've got two beds. I'm going to go turn light on. Yeah. So yeah, you've got two beds here. Uh, and... oh, see, there's a... Oh, there we go. So that's better. It looks really alien. Yeah. The sounds and everything is just so oh, good. Yeah. The sounds it's, are amazing. It's, such, but it's just a shame that the ship is hard ship. to handle. Maybe we just need to it's, take spend some time with it, maybe. I think that's probably, you know, a fair comment. A lot of people love it, it's, like it's I think also looks just visibility wise. I like to have good all round visibility. Yeah, what's this why is it locked? What's this for? Is that like a storage? I don't know. It's just as locked. Perhaps that's like the, the you know, the ultimate weapon. <laughs> <laughs> it's there all the time. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm kind of expecting, obviously, the merchant to have a similar design to lock respect to this. Yeah. You know, where it's like, Alien. it looks almost organic. Yeah. You know, living, sort of organic, sort of, you know, feel to it. Uh, but I just, I just struggle to, to actually fight in this. It, it just seems it was really hard to manoeuvre. Yeah, so I mean, if you if you look at the ship, it's like it's very reminiscent of one of the uh, the, the hull strippers, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. It looks exactly like it, doesn't it? Like the, <laughs> the um, like they've really cheaped out on it. <laughs> yeah, we just take that and we just put some extra bit of grounds on it, but it's but essentially it's going to. You look at it; it, look, it looks like it should really be doing some serious damage. Yeah, uh, it probably does in the correct time. <laughs> <laughs> in the hands of a, a professional, it, 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 it's massive damage. But in the hands of novices, it's like, um, um, I'm gonna, yeah, it's 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 a cool ship. It's, it's a cool it ship. is a cool ship, but and I, I like the graphics how it sort of spins back. And I think it, 
It's quite disappointing in terms of how hard it is to actually fly the thing. But I'm not sure there's people out there saying, yeah, it's just you guys. Yeah. Oh, let's go look at the next one, shall we? Oh. I mean, look at the I mean the way the door opens is epic as well. Attention. So cool. I have been authorized to scan your vehicle for security purposes. <laughs> We've been Please scanned. Your vehicle and stand by. We? Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it out of just in case it blow up. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Alright. Everything checks out. The back end as well looks really good. I like the back end. Just... Yeah, I mean, it's a cool looking ship. It's just that I yeah, struggled. Good. I'd have to take it out. Like, I've got a Banu anyway. I've got a Banu um, pledge yeah. at the moment. So I might take it out before the pledge ends. Yeah, we, maybe we could do that. But... Oh, we, we took it into. Um, I mean, a commander. We took it into really commander. And I mm. struggled. I mean, I don't know quite a pilot. Man, so although I've, you know, I have improved a fair amount, but not with this new. This new uh, joystick here, which is already caused me a lot of grief. Okay, so the next one is so obviously the Banu Defender you won't buy again once you get your merchant man. That's so, right. at any point, do you think you may end up trading your merchant man in? It would have to be something amazing. Hmm. If you find you're just not getting the use of it like you think you want. Uh, I'm <laughs> oh, I know, yeah. Like literally, she just, does like just just to be awkward. Just to be awkward, I'm going to walk through you. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm all about the C2. That's the next one. Um, um, yeah. it's, it's, it has to be one hell of a ship. Yeah, it's, I think the merchantman is going to be stunning. It is, it, but is it going to be like the my my thing is? Is it going to be such a ball ache to move around and obviously like I don't get a carrot out that much because it's just a bit of a ball a ache. To, yeah, and obviously the merchant man's you know probably twice the size, I'm, isn't it? Three times the size. I wonder, of it. Yeah, I wonder how um, it's going to work because it you know the merchant man for me is like obviously it's a ship of shops, but yeah, I mean, it needs to be like a, a bit of a hub. Yeah. So if it's a hub, when you go to a different system or something, I don't know how that's going to play out. Yeah. You're going to be, it's going to be like flying this little space station around, isn't it? Yeah. It, that's what I get the impression. I mean, you look at some of the pictures of okay, some of the, um, the the backdrops, and it looks enormous. Yeah. It does look enormous, but. Uh, so what? What's your what's your plans? So like, you want a daily driver, which is probably going to be little red. You're gonna want uh, a fighter. What fighter are you looking it's, at? The, the fighters uh, at the moment are a little bit red area. Yeah. Red area, I say, because I've not really done enough of it. Uh, yeah. I, I do like the uh, gladiators. I think that's probably the that's probably a good one to go for. But obviously, again, I don't have to be at the moment in game. Yeah. If if you can get it. Game. I think you can. I'm not too sure. Somebody in comments will be able to tell us if you can get Gladius in game. Yeah. Page um, wise, probably not high on the list. So you it's plan on buying most fighters in game rather than players? I think for the moment. Yeah. For the moment. It's, uh, I guess I think we'll be mainly doing uh, trading stuff, mining, trading. Yeah. So daily driver, uh, little red, um, fighter in game. Um, yeah. Merchant ship, um, cargo ship. What, what are you looking at? Well, at the moment, obviously got the C two. So yeah. that's that's like a it's a big ass ship, six hundred plus units. Yeah. Well, Which is good. You don't tend to do. I mean, you tend. You don't tend to do um, single solo stuff for much anyway. You generally come on. You no. come on with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's because it's just one of those games. I think it's better with, you know, with mates. Yeah. You know I mean, with you know, with friends that you can just go around and do stuff together. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm going to grab a drink. That's a good idea. By the way, please just pause. Um, so obviously you got the C two like you said, and then uh, so that, are, you, are you? What about um, mining? Would you would you get a multi mining? Yeah, I think I'd have to sort of spend some time doing mining. I think trading's more my my thing. I mean, I'm you know I think we probably do it together. Yeah. We're gonna do mining. So it's not the sort of thing I would. Probably go out and get a ship and pay for it. Probably do in game. I was going to do that. Not harmless the mining, really, for the fairness. Although I know they're going to revamp it and stuff, do some other stuff to it. But it's not, um, yeah, it's not quite there for me. You'll obviously, you'll probably do a bit more, wouldn't you? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a prospector, but I'll buy that in game to start with. Um, yeah. So your your main focus is gonna be. I think it's gonna be trading. Trading. But yeah. then I also I, I I think for me again I enjoy the bunker missions. You know we have a good laugh doing those. Uh, so that would be like you know, you know whether you sort of have the merchantmen up and you know up in the, the echelons of. Uh, but you said that you just bomb down with the, the Pisces. And the Pisces red, they just do what we normally do. Die, probably. Um, I don't know. It's, it's it's whether you get to the point in the game where you have to live on something. If you want to go and explore a system or something, you yeah. don't have to live in something like the Carrack or something like that. Yeah, the Merchant. Where, where is it livable? You know, that's that's going to be thing isn't it with pyro coming up yeah because at the moment at the moment it's not you don't have to worry about it there's plenty of systems you know sorry there's plenty of places to go but there's no real you, you can't really hide in this game yeah whereas when they more systems they have there's more chance of just disappearing and doing your own thing which is the exploration side of things yeah I'm just going to put the kettle okay. So pretty much then, it's going to be, for you, it's going to be um, daily driver, merchant, car cargo ship, a small fight that you're buying game. Yeah. I like big ships though, that's my problem. I like yeah. big luxury ships. Um, yeah. With no use with whatsoever no use. at the moment. Well, the thing is, is we've got uh, people in Discord, the community of Discord, so we can, uh, you know, once we get um, the, uh, what's it called, sorted on that. Yes, I'd like to have, I would, as I said, you know, uh, for me, a 600i, it's such a nice looking ship. Or the, the conservation Phoenix. Just something about either of those, the, both those ships that I like the luxury side of it. Yeah. I think the, the 890 jump is just too big. He says. <laughs> yeah, merchantman. <laughs> but uh, that, 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 I mean, that was. It was entertaining going around the, uh, the 890, but it just. Everything takes time to get round. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a big interior as well, isn't it? Obviously, because of the size of the ship. So. I don't think I'll ever own the 890 because I think it's just too big. Yeah, I like the 890, but I definitely don't think it's something like until something until there's a, a, a thing f for me to use it. I can't. Yeah. So unless you're going to do like passenger stuff, do runs between. Yeah. You know, uh, systems and stuff, but, um, with a bit of luxury. Yeah, and it, it, some people might like be like, ah, no way, you don't want, don't want. But once you start, once you played the game for nearly a year, which is what we're coming on now, um, yeah. it's different. You know, it's it's a different thing. Like you then yeah. start realizing, well, 
like the Carrick is a useless ship at this moment in time for us. Like it's it's no, got no use for us unless you can log out with a group of people and and yeah. and and live the life on there. Then there's, it's just a useless ship for for me. And um, I, I wonder if that we'll ever get to that point. Yeah. I, I wonder because you know if they're going to get bigger populations on service, then you know then it's like. You're not going to be able to explore without someone being there already. Yeah. Uh, and and that's the, that's the thing. And so obviously they they have all that more more systems in and stuff like that for exploring, and the game crashing and stuff like that. It's just that I loved the you know the idea of it that the, getting the character and stuff like that, and that's why I got it. But I definitely yeah. wouldn't play it, and I just don't see no. spending that money on it. The same with the merchant man, obviously. But you've got the merchant man because you want to test, you want to see it, and you want to see what it's about. But it's yeah. gonna be. I think it's gonna be the same crack for me. Like, like it's gonna be. A, it's just too much of a ball ache, and you're gonna end yeah. up just living your life in the in the the Pisces, the, the little red. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna be smaller ships that are gonna be yeah, king. I think that's it, because it'll just be too much of a ball ache to get out something like the the, the BMM. You yeah. know, like five days to. Get, Claim it on insurance, nine hundred million to get it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just like just the twenty-five minutes to get on it. Yeah, <laughs> just to find the, yeah, just to find the the, the, the pilot yeah. seat. S six levels. Yeah, just... <laughs> but um, so, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be interesting, you know. Yeah, it's going to be great, and that's why I was asking earlier on: would you then would yeah. you then you know melt it and and pick something else because you know. I think, like I said, you when you've you, you've had that now, you bought that what about four months ago, the BMM, yeah, yeah. when it was on a yeah, on a deal, and and I just think like now, like after a year of us playing this game, I just think now like you would end up having some fun with the BMM, and then you'd be like, right, I'm done with that. That's how my system or whatever, and uh, you know, let's get a ship that we can use to do something else with, like a, you know, another like a hull or something like that, where we can get more cargo and you know stuff like that. You know, like a whole E or whatever, a whole D or whatever one's coming. Yeah. I think they're going to be enormous. Oh, yeah, I think they're going to be enormous. I think, I think they're going, to be, a, they're they're going the, to be a struggle. Is there more use of it? Thing. That's the thing. Is there more use for that? Like, I don't know, than the BMM. I don't know. Like, this is the things we're going to find out. But uh, the Carrick itself, until something comes in the game where you can do, where the, where the little robots, because they've got, like, little drones, haven't they, on the Carrick? Uh, yeah. Until that comes in, where you can then do salvage with the drones and stuff like that, then I can't see a use for it. Once that comes in, then obviously I can see a use for it. But it's how long does that that come in? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's gonna be could be a while, quite a while, to be honest. Yeah. There's so much else, you know, going on in the game. Those little sort of touches are just gonna get left behind. Mhm. Mm so. And that's the worry. That's the worry. Like, and and having ships. Like, I won't buy the Carrick. I won't buy the Carrick. Um, maybe in game I might buy it if I, you know, if I've got a spare twenty-three million or whatever it was. Yeah. But I'm not going to go and pay, you know, a thousand pound for it, your real money, because I, just don't think you, I won't use it. I say, I think for for me with the Banu, it's just a, that whole historical thing as well. The, the thing is, it's with, it. with the BMM, the, you can melt that and. and possibly get a couple yeah. of different ships with the with the, the store credit or whatever but at least you've got it and you've seen it and it's almost yeah. like you've got that 600 quid or whatever you spent and that can then go into other ships and uh, yeah. some you know you I mean, can buy stuff it, you want it, from that it'll be it'll be interesting to see if there's any comments on this video saying about melting the bad image <laughs> I can see it happening I can, like, see it happening. I can see it happening are you what are you doing? If, 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 if you're not using it, like, like if I if I bought the Carrick, then I'd be fuming. Like, I'd be fuming that I wouldn't, you know, didn't really get a use of it. Like, you know what I mean? And that I'd spent most of my time in the Pisces. See, for me, it's, again, it's like, it depends what comes up with their new ships. You know, there could be another classic ship they're going to come out with. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's like the whole Corsair thing, you know. The Corsair for me was, I was like, oh, well, I've got to get the Corsair. And I was so annoyed when, yeah, when you missed it. When I missed it by about 10 minutes when it finished at um, whatever the event it was. But you know, I've actually been around where there's like, yeah. 
Yeah, I was so disappointed in it, mate. It? it was you know, because one thing I like in a ship, and that's why I like the, you know, the constellation, is the fact you can get off it quickly. Yeah. You know, the constellation, you get off your chair, you go down the elevator, which is right there, and then you're out. Yeah. Whereas you fight us around. The C2, you can run to the to the lift, and down the lift. Yeah. I mean, or down the stairs, then down the lift, you know. And, and the Corsair is very similar. This is, for me, is like, I just want to get off a ship. You know, I like the idea of just straight over and straight down the lift. That's why I like the Constellation. I like it's, it's a it's a good ship. Yeah. Um, but I like, again, I like, I like the luxury side of things. So the Phoenix is, is you know, it's a good compromise. Plus, it's got the ship on the back, which we've never really used, have we? No. So maybe that's another video. But yeah, yeah, we just gonna. See if the C2 is up. So if you rip it. It's a bit laggy. This dude's arm um, to the teeth. He's going out on a mission. He's going out on a mission. I think I Mike. see the. Um, do you know there's like a crew that goes out as medical crew? They do yeah. videos on oh, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen them the other day in one of them, when I was doing one of the. Okay. One of the videos. There was just like a, a lot of them just jumping around. I can't remember where there was. Might have been in Everest Harbour, in here actually. And they were just jumping around in, in here. The gun has crashed. I can't move. Your vehicle has been oh. delivered to the following. No, location. it's not. Right, 11. 11! I was literally couldn't move. It's so laggy at the moment. <laughs> Anyone would think you've got my line. I'm fuming, man. Absolutely fuming. Where is my? Absolute fuming though, about my um, my line. Yeah, not surprisingly. I just don't think they care. They've got that many users. Yeah. Uh, okay. C two. C two. Big ass. It's big, isn't it? So big. I mean, we've had some good times in this, haven't we? We have. It's just we have. for me. I mean, so your choice. You say you got a choice, right? Say you was going to pledge. I don't know how much this C2 is, uh, and I don't know how much the cat is. But which one would you choose from the two? The C2 or the what? Cat. The other choice. The cat. Uh, cat pillar. I think the cat pillar was a lot easier to to to, um, to fly. Yeah. This one su suffers from. I mean, look how long this this ramp. It's it's like so long this ramp, isn't it? <laughs> um, and inside, it's like enormous. You know. It, it, I'd w I wonder what it would would feel like having some like the A two R 
I can't wait to see the C, the the one series, like the C one, the, the E one, yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the E one is something I'm looking at, and I'm quite interested it's, in. It's, so this size of it, it's not a problem. Lots of whole space. I mean, we've got three Pisces in there before. Yeah. So, and we could probably got a fourth if we had another one. Somehow. So, there's a lot of good space in it. Yeah. But, Uh, something about the ship, I don't like it. I'll just say I don't like it. I'm just not, I'm, you know, yeah. overwhelmed with it. Get out of the way. Yeah. So I got the low deck. No, no. Top deck. Not the low deck. I think. This space here is just absolutely wasted. This space here. Yeah. We got these yeah. lockers here, which are communal. One, two, one. I of remember them, when uh, we, we first went on the ship in one of the free events, you know, the sort of at uh, Morrison. I was like, yeah, look at this. This is amazing. Yeah. It was a ship I was looking forward to. Yeah, I was absolutely yeah, looking um, forward to it. The, I mean, the details really good as well, but I don't know. We just. I didn't feel it. I can say maybe I'll try, I'll once the one it. series comes out, maybe that might be sort of a compromise for me. Yes, I think the one series would definitely be a an option. Uh, I just I, I find this it was quite quite boring quite quickly. Yeah. I don't know what the plans are for this, and there's the people out there that absolutely love this ship. Um, I and I know there's um, Jay Peterson. He, I think it's called Jay Peterson. He he you know loves the ship, and there's a lot of his um, um, cargo runs on it. it. Comments quite a lot on our on our stuff about it. And, it's um, potential, but I just I just don't. I'm not keen on the whole top layer. Yeah. And you know to get out. I mean, let's just time it. It's time about to get out of the ship with the pilot. You got a little Ursa, right? a little Ursa tie. <laughs> so I'm going to get in the pilot seat and not keep the fuck up. It's a long time bit. This could be another video. Time it out to get how long it takes to get out of the ship. <laughs> okay, so. Reset. Ready. On the timer. Dilly dally there a little bit. So I'm not running them in fairness. Yeah. You know what? The lift just set itself to go down by itself. Right. It was there and then it decided to go down. I just saw it go down. She and you're stood over there, aren't you? Went down to the bottom deck. So that's 40 seconds already, but immediately the lift decided to do its own thing. Yeah, but it's never here when, when it never is here when we come out so of the So, in the ship. Next in the ship. So that's taken a minute nearly. Uh, nearly a minute. 57, 59. Yeah, a minute to get out of that ship. I don't know where I'm at. I'm in the engine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see, see I can see you. I can see you. It's in there. Can you see me? No, I can see your... Hey, you're looking at me. Cool. I can see your, your name tag, that's all. I ran, a minute. I ran and jumped. Get out of the ship. I ran and jumped and... Are you in the body then? Yeah, I'm in the body, yeah. Uh, Is that an out-of-body experience? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God knows where I'm at now. It's I'm locked. Weird. I'm locked in something. Yeah, see if you can come find me. <laughs> I can see. Okay. I think you might have Game to. Challenge. I, think, I think you might have to open the door for me because I'm stuck. Challenge accepted. Member left. Press it. Someone's someone's left. Is that me? So you're on the lower deck at the top. I don't know where I'm at. Uh, no, I'm in. 
I'm in the corridor. I'm in one of the things in the corridor. Go up the top there. Yeah, a minute to go off the ship. Yes. Thing is, is this obviously is a big, it's a big buy for a big. It's a big ship, but it's just too hard to. But if they had a, a, a lift at the front of the ship with all that corridor space is. Yeah. You're in. Uh, you're kind of. Yeah. How do you get in there? Uh. Two meters away. Two meters. I wonder if I can get out in there. Uh, oh, yes, I'm out. You out? Yeah. Jumped out of you? Yeah. Yeah. They could have had. They could have had a lift in here in the corridor bit here. So you just come out the front. Yeah. But they did. Can't wait till we start doing lives. Then then we're gonna be great when we start doing lives. Yeah. I mean this neck, it's almost like this neck serves no process, no no purpose. The neck of the ship. Yeah. I, I, I always thought that. I always thought that. And then and then that because of that you end up um handling badly. And yeah. This is how I got into the ship, yeah, I did this much. I ran, jumped over here. Jumped over, jumped over here, if it lets me. Jumped over here, and then jumped over here. Carried on going. Oh, there we are again. Oh, I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inside the ship. I'm on, I'm on top of it now. I'm on top of the ship. Uh, I'm not. <clears throat> I'm actually on the bottom now. I've come out of it. <clears throat> Glitch. Well, let's go look at the next one. I'm, um, I'm like, um, I'm doing um, Assassin's Star Creed. Jumps. Assassin's Creed. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna do the um, gonna do just dangle. leap of faith. Go ah! see it. How much? Uh, you survived that. One one percent. <laughs> it's a one percent energy off me. Okay. Well, let's go and put this away and then uh, let's get the ship out. What's the next one? Ooh, the next one could be. Cutter? Yes, it's going to be a cutter. So the cutter is your pledge that you bought, didn't you? That's a pledgey. That's because a pledgey. you wanted to see whether we could use it as a starter ship, you know, to yeah. do a starter video. Because yeah. I want to do a starter video for 318. You say. It's uh, really. It's uh, it's almost like a daily driver, isn't it? It's. I think it's a superior uh, starter ship. Yeah. So, guess what? Is it three. So when you look at the starter ship, like the Aurora and stuff of like that, it's. It's like better than that. Yeah. Although it's obviously not. Um, I'm going to be buying an Aurora. I'm going to buy an Aurora in game. Because it's like paying homage to my. It's, it's start of this. early starts. There's something weird about the ship. It's very. Um, everything seems external. You know, all the pipe work and that. Yeah. A lot of pipe work is external to it. It's Drake, isn't it? Yeah, it's very um, industrial almost. I mean, like you've got these like hazard stickers on it everywhere. It's like such a dangerous ship. Just don't <laughs> go near it because it's just hazardous. B B B one. I love the little windows yeah. in the back. Yeah, it's kind of cute as well. I mean, obviously storage is a little bit. I mean, you probably get a you probably get a hover bike in it. Yeah. I don't know if you get a grey cat. But again, it's, there's a lot of attention to detail as well. This. You look yeah. at all this gubbins going on here, which is obviously it serves no purpose. But... Well, the open, so I, I don't know what the open bottom yeah. put in there, but I, 
Yeah, I don't know. But... Maybe that's something they take, some, some sort of add on. Yeah. Um, and then you've got like the, the bed. Uh, you've got obviously, you know, the amenities and stuff. Some lights on. Yeah. Catch those lights. We need lights. I tried nicking somebody. I tried nicking someone's cutter once. Um, I was a criminal, and oh, yeah. yeah, and um, someone blew my ship up outside when I was clearing my crime stat. And uh, so I came sneaking out, and he was this guy was grabbing some boxes. Um. And I saw him go in and I went down to, my sh to where my ship was. It wasn't there. I came back up and I went and got on his ship. But I, what I should have done is let him go on his ship and then go back out to get another box and then took it. But he saw yeah. me going in. So. Oh, did he? Oh, it's got local oh. storage here. Didn't know I had local yeah. storage, yeah. Um, yeah, he saw me and then he, he basically just looked at me, <laughs> waved his gun at me, and I just, end up, I just ended up killing myself. Yeah. Because if I'd have come off the ship anyway, I could have asked him for a lift, but if I'd have come off the ship. I was dead anyway because I was just floating around in space, nothing to do. You couldn't do, couldn't do nothing. So I've got a shower in here as well. Um, toilet and stuff. I've seen the toilet, to be honest. So, right, yeah. I think there's some toilet. So you could, Bed, you could disappear storage. off and. Definitely you could live yeah, in it. You definitely could live in yeah. it. Has he got a weapon? I'm mean. not too sure. Has he got a weapon? I don't know. Yeah, we definitely could live in it for sure. Live in this one for yeah. a bit. Just doing like running around. How many? How many cargoes? It's, it's four solo, isn't it? Just probably about eight, two, six, four, four, it. Four. Yeah, four cargo. Four, I'd say. So not massive. No. But for like your box missions and stuff, it's probably. Yeah. Okay, so let me time how long it takes to get out of the ship. New feature. New feature. How long does it take? Like how long does out, it take uh, to get out of? So we have to do, we have to do that for the... Um, what's the name? Your ship, the, the uh, Carib. Right, so ready... Twenty-seven seconds, roughly. Yeah. Twenty-seven seconds to get out. So that's the record on at the moment. But the pirate sees it be like ten. Oh, she's been like five seconds, <laughs> ten seconds, something like that. That's the thing I love about the pirate season. Simple in, simple yeah, out. Straight out, isn't it? You know, a yeah. minute to get out, or a couple of hundred to instant out. Yeah. It's, it's the the ramp is going to be the time as well. Yeah. This, so this is like Vito as well. The thing it? is, so... is well, the thing is, is so what you didn't do is let me, let me, let me get rid of this time. I'll tell you when. Okay. Let me close this. That's this is closing. I'll tell you when. Okay now. Not 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 now. <laughs> hey, you stop. Hang on, stop. Yeah. Hang on, stop. I am. The reset. Ready, so in. I'm I'm trying to get the doors, but the doors are not. For some reason, uh, <laughs> I had a button assigned to it. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah. I've got a button assigned to the doors. Let me see. Um, key bindings. Advanced key bindings. And vehicle cockpit. Uh, open all doors. So lock, unlock doors. So open. Yes, for some reason it's not done it on this one. Maybe I've just done it on the yeah. other one. So it was uh, that and D. 
and put yes. No. Shift and D. Yes. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I need to save that. As no, I'm, yeah. 27 seconds, you're going to beat. 27. Okay, right. So, I'll tell you right So, you now. sat in the chair. Sat in the chair? Yeah, I'm sat in the chair. I'm sat in the Those... chair now. Yeah. I'll tell you. So... I'll tell you when. Now. Gonna be touching the uh, seventeen seconds. Yeah. So it took ten seconds off that. Yeah, by not having to wait for the door. Just bite. Just blow. Yeah. So there you go. So basically, what I did Top is tip. I've set a, a key binding to be um, Shift and D, so that opens the doors. You'll see me yeah. do it with the Pisces a lot as well. I do it with the Pisces a lot. Um. So. Not a bad chip. Yeah. Uh, I mean, a, a bit of an ugly one at the front. To be honest, yeah. It does look like a. But at this at this point, it's it's almost like your daily drive. This one, isn't it? Until you get yeah the little red. Yeah. yeah. It's got two guns I, here. And it is bigger than the Pisces. It's yeah. Probably you know twice as tall. Uh, say it's V tall. But you got this so, one as pledge, uh, aren't you? Would you not trade this one in? Yeah. Would you not trade this one in for the Pisces? Uh, I've not used it enough. That's what I need to, you know, I probably need to use it a bit more. Yeah. Because you could probably trade, because um, you've got lifetime insurance, haven't you? Yeah. So you so could got, probably trade this one in for the Pisces and pay like 10 quid and still have your lifetime insurance. Just, yeah. I, I, something about this I quite like. Yeah. It looks like a, it looks like a, a train inside. <laughs> It's a little cute ship. It's a little cute ship. Oh, it's quite. It's, it's quite cute. <laughs> it's it cute, but ugly. It's almost like a sympathetic cute. Yeah. Oh. You know. But if I'd got the ugly stick, I know if I'd have got this and I wasn't using it, and I wanted the pie, I wanted little red. Then I would have. I would trade it in. And get because you've got lifetime insurance on this, I think, haven't you? So you yeah. could. Uh, I think the only reason you got this was to try it out for videos, like yes. to see could we do it as a starter ship, yeah. and, and earn money from it. But it is quick getting off. <laughs> yeah. Probably not as quick as uh, uh, Pisces. No, definitely not as quick. Because those two other so doors was, you know, ball ache yeah. to get through. I spent a good three seconds on each of those doors. Yeah. Okay, so next up. It's going to be the 600 line. Green and camo there. Yeah, looks mean, doesn't it? Got himself a little med gun, he's got himself a little tractor, Stored. two guns. Just checking your gear out there. Uh, two guns okay, out so mission, isn't it? Out this is certainly not going to be in, this is not going to be hangar three for sure. Hangar 14. Master Chief. The Master Chief here. Fourteen. Okay. Fourteen, yeah. So this is one of my favourite ships, but I'd have used. And this is the mighty six hundred I. I just love it. 600 I. So this is not a pledge neither, is it? It's not a pledge. No, nah, this is in, in, in game. Uh, game purchase. So would you aim to buy this in purchase again? I know they're going to redesign the inter interior, aren't they? So whether they're going to give it a bit more storage or... I just look at it. I mean, it's just a stunning looking ship. <laughs> I love the whiteness of it as well. Yeah. Very clinical. Uh, origin just, nine, it's origin. Yeah, it's origin just do such good. If you buy one of these in pledge, can you get to name it? I don't think so. I know you can with the 380, can't you? 890. 890, 380. I know some of them you can. I think you can with a cutlass as well. I think you can as well. 
Oh, God, let's see. Um, this, um, this is quite a... It's a weird way it stores, you know, goods. Yeah, it is. It's one of the weird ones, yeah, because it stacks them up against the walls. Yeah, which is really strange, but I wonder if they're going to change that. Mm. You have it, like, all over the place. Yeah, because like... stack them here against these. And here, these, these units here? It's like, yeah, what? and here. So, I mean, you can't get a lot of this if you was looking to put, uh, you know, a... You get a vehicle on it, I guess. But you wouldn't get, you know, like, a Pisces on it. No. Got these two big towers here, so it'd just be a pain anyway. Yeah. But the, the detail level was amazing on this. Yeah. I remember going in the it's other one, the four, was it the 400, and I was so disappointed in it. I was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was... Captain extremely Quartz. sporty, but with luxury, you know, you got a good view out here. Uh, this is why this is why I like it. It's because of the the extras. You know, yeah. The, the way it's built, designed. Um, obviously, you can't use any of this at the moment, but you might be in the future. And a little bit better yeah. facilities for you for your own private use. Can you use this? Okay. Someone will be able to tell us in the comments if you can use these. Yeah. I mean, you know, feel free to um, disagree with everything we're talking about. Yeah. yeah. In the comments. A lot of people do have their own preferences and, and stuff like that. Yeah. But obviously, like, we know, like, after a year of playing it, like, some ships to yeah. us now are just, just, there's no point in them. No. I mean, until the game expands. Yeah, you know, that's the issue for me. Until the expands, uh, then it is going to be a lot of these are going to be fairly pointless. They're luxury items. It's a luxury item. Yeah. No, we look at that. We, it's just crazy, crazy. Sure. They get start getting more detail to this. Yeah. So, I, I love it. I love this just luxury side of it. So there's a crew, of four, a crew of four, and then the captain, yeah. so... But it, it's just the height of luxury, isn't it? It's, like, it's probably the second most luxurious um, ship in the game. Yeah. To the uh, 890. So where else can I go? So we go. Top deck. But it just, it just oozes that. You know, they've a lot of attention to detail with it. Yeah. So, you go around here and see all the different things as well. It's weapons all... rack here. Put weapons yeah. in. And this is suit and armor one. I mean, this is another ship. It's going to take forever to get up, get off it, but you don't yeah. want to. Do we, we did a video in here, didn't we? The video we did on this. Oh, we did took the pictures for the Christmas thing, I think it was. Put the parcels oh, on here. Yeah. Put the parcels on here. Again, it'd be cool if you had, like, you know, could use this stuff. <coughs> Which might happen, in, you know, in, in, in later. Yeah. But I look, I mean, look at this. I'm mean, thinking this is such a lovely looking ship. And it's, it is one that, you know, it, it's like having a vintage car, isn't it? You don't bring it out of you every, you know, every day. It's not your daily drive, but it's one that you think we do bring it out. And think, oh yeah. Yeah. Some more of the sweat boxes. Every... Some more boxes got there. It's all your modules here. Yeah. Just so much detail. To... But they are looking to rework this, I believe. So I mean, hopefully they'll make it, you know, still you know, lush. Yeah. But I mean, just a, even the, you know, on the. And you know where, where you know the pilot seat and stuff. Just you get that sense of height as well, the scale. Yeah. 
a big ship to explore, like isn't it? It's just a big ship to explore. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's like uh, four... Where'd you go? Four stories up, isn't it? Oh, this guy's just up in the air, just bouncing around. <laughs> Again, you've got stuff you here like waters and stuff and you can't use them. Yeah. That 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 probably changed because none of them actually did that until the, the red turned up. Yeah, a little red. Yeah. Actually, yeah. So maybe that's something they can look at. But yeah, when you look at you look at the uh, the luxuriousness of the seats and stuff. Stunning. Love the ship. Well, if it was the right price, I'd definitely. Put, you know, I'd be hard pressed not to buy it. Yeah. Just to add a bit of luxury to the, the fleet. I think that's what it'll be. You know, if this game's going to be, you know, 10, 10, 15 years, you're not going to have one ship. No. Is look. And they'll be, they'll be deciding on the ships as well. Just got that bit of quality to it, and it's it's, it's one of my favourite ships, and it doesn't fly that badly either. Yeah. To its size. A lot of the Orin, uh, origin stuff doesn't. Someone's getting battered outside. Yeah, you can hear it, don't you? Shame. A shame. So, <laughs> should we do the, uh, let's do the time. Yeah. I've got to think about it. Let's do the time for it. Right, let's reset. So at the moment we've got a minute. I think it's going to take longer than a minute. <laughs> yeah, I think it might do. Uh, i just seen that guy jump in, but he's disappeared now. Okay. It's taken like 10 seconds to just get off the chair. It has. Is that whatever it is? Is that what Yeah. Did that even work? It did. Right, so that took 46 seconds. 46? Yeah, 46 seconds. That was a lift though, wet that lift. Yeah. Well, I, the thing is, is, I've never really seen this. What is it? It's about, only got about 40 cargo on it. I've never seen it as a cargo hauler or anything like no. that. Yeah, just a. It's more like a, a passenger ship, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a luxury, you know, sort of thing you, you know, yacht, isn't it? Yeah. Like the early 90s, a luxury yacht. But it's seriously got some. It's almost sexy. Right, let's go and get the, the last one. And that's the Constellation Phoenix. Yeah. But you haven't got this one in Pledge, have you? No. Would you buy it in Pledge ever? It's a ship you kept, kept like, I want that ship, I want that I, ship so much. Again, the luxury side of it. I think I'll be, I'll be, uh, when we reset, I think it would be the, the 600 I've been one that I miss the most, even though I don't use it often. Yeah, it's there. Do you know what I mean? So, hangar eight. So, the Connie, definitely one of my favorite ships. Yeah. Always has been like I think when you got the Taurus that time you loved it. Yeah. So again, I love the design of it. it actually, looks quite small now. Yeah. Compared to other ships, the one, but yeah. loves a little that, snub in the back. It's just that whole angular. It's got like a, the, like a transformer type yeah. of. Yeah. I think it's I mean, the details. You can actually see from the windows from here and see that the lights are on. Yeah. <laughs> So if you look up there to the mid, yeah, the mid part it, yeah. of it, you've got the windows. Yeah. And the detail is just amazing, isn't it? There goes my washer. 
It's quite a long ship, isn't it? Yeah. It's not that wide. It actually looks like you say it looks small now. It looks like it's like a small ship, but it's 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 a big ship. It is a big ship, yeah. Right, so obviously there's only one one route in, which is the it's two routes, there's also down over here. But... No, I mean this is the one that we always use, isn't it? Yeah. Main route in. So I like this one because again the lateral side of it and the fact that you're right there. You know, you don't so go through the um, like the um, C2. You don't go through the the C2. You go through the the floor, don't you? You don't. It doesn't open yeah. up, yeah. Yeah. So you've got turrets here, top and bottom. Yeah. But again, it's got a little a feel of luxury, the whiteness, which you know tends to be yeah. luxury in this game. The table's supposed to come out. The toilet's not that good though, is it? There's no luxury in that. But then when you get to the, the other areas, you've got seating, bunks here for four. Crew quarters, that in it though. And this this is where you step up into a little bit more of a, almost an origin style. Yeah. And then this is the passenger side of things. Yeah. So again, there's, you know, you've got like this, this little area here, which has got no no sort of shower or anything like that, so oh, limited. So luxury. Yeah. Again, it's just just smacks of you know a bit of extra quality, and this is why I like it. I look at the floor as well. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you know, this this what differs from the Carrick is you've got a uh, Carrick, six hundred eyes, the windows on the side. Yeah. Definitely a passenger yeah, a one, this though, isn't it? Full on yeah, passenger a lot of glass. One. And then you've got, like, again, you've got the bar, which you can't do anything with. You know, maybe you might have some future stuff. Time, yeah. Which one would you take over this one and the 600? Yes. Uh, this is a different price range, isn't it? Price break is so much different for this. Is it? Is this one more expensive? No, this is cheaper. Is it? Anyway. I'd prefer this yeah, one over the 600. I think this is more accessible. Yeah. I mean, this this bit here again is like really it's nice. It comes out here, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's for like, me, this this I definitely prefer this one over the six hundred. I think this one's simpler to get around. Yeah. Plus, you got a little snob as well on it. There's a component, and then a little snob at the back. Yeah. So that's that's a useful addition to a defensive posture. Yeah. But it is a different, you know. I think this is about five point eight million uh, in in game. Yeah. Whereas the um, six hundred I is eighteen, I think. Not bad. Um, Snub looks alright, doesn't it? Got four bull yeah, yeah. four bulldogs on it. I don't think it has a QT it's, it's, drive. No missiles. It's it's uh too small. But, um, so we've got this bit down here that gets you down into this cargo bay. Which isn't Oh look. A homework. Oh yeah, what? you've got a lot of rock in there as well. That's not meant to be, then. Are you sure we didn't have that before and then you put it away? I reckon we, I reckon it is. Yeah, yeah. No way. So, it could get a rock in here. Did we put that in there? Yeah, I think we did. It shows a lot. Of... <laughs> shows how often we use this ship, this, um, <laughs> doesn't it? But it goes to show as well that the decent level of, you know, storage. Yeah. Get a couple of those uh, cat things in here. Mm. So it does have a little bit, a little bit of storage, you know. But probably I what? Think it's probably forty odd. Yeah. I think it's forty odd. Yeah, it looks about that. Whereas, the, whereas the Taurus, I think, was seventy. Yes. Yeah. But definitely a nice, nice ship, and it is. You know, wandering around it for the first time in quite a while. 
Yeah, because we haven't been in it for a while. I'm impressed after going into the 600. I definitely prefer this over the 600 for sure. But this is something you was, you know, yeah, itching to get for ages. Yes, yeah. But again, this is just in game, not pledge. Yeah. So I don't know how much it is in pledges, like a few hundred in it. 300, 350. Right, so let's do a quick. I want to take it off. There's me talking about. It takes um, seven at a time. Right, so. Really. Okay. On the clock. On the clock. Money to everything. The door. That's me up the ship. Twenty one seconds. Yeah, it's not too bad. Decent that's, decent shit. Definitely decent shit that. Yeah. I think it's it's a bit of an all rounder. Yeah. Because like you got a, a you got a decent bit of cargo, uh, uh, and we can get you know it's it's a bit more utility, <clears throat> and it doesn't fly too badly either. Mm. You know, I, I definitely think it's got more, it's better balanced than the C two in terms of although that's got a huge front end. These seem to be better. Yeah, more it stable. Does. I, I know flying it myself when we first, but I mean, it's we've been at we've been on it for a year, and this was one of the first ships yeah. that we took out, like for, uh, yeah. for a while, after a, after like a couple of weeks, because um, yeah. it was in the event and the free fly event thing. Yeah, <clears throat> and obviously I had the Taurus as well. So yeah, we got that later. You had the freelancer when we got this, because you remember I got this yeah. in the free fly event and um, rented it out. I remember, and you had the uh, freelancer at the time. And the freelancer was a struggle to fly, and then this became a struggle to fly. But now, since having I mean, the carrier and stuff like think, that, uh, and the bigger ships, now I think it would be fine to drive to fly this. I think it's. I think it was struggle to fly because I was rubbish at flying. Yeah, I think that's too, I mean, pretty much I, it. The freelancer did not crash into mountain. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He but again, did. it's got good, good visibility as well. It looks like it's on the piss there, though, doesn't it? But yeah, it's um, it is one of my favourite ships. So once we, like um, said, once the white comes, go. what's the first thing you're aiming for? What what are you gonna go for first? It'd be a toss up between this and the car uh, the C six hundred. Six hundred. I mean, this is obviously more attainable because it's like about the price. So that's that's the uh, the riding thing. You can get this before you can get anything else. Because I, I think I think it's about five point five, five point eight million. Yeah, check. I think it was around that five five million. I think. It was, yeah. So. Um, so I think it's definitely one that gets to a lot quicker. Yeah. But again, it's like you don't use it. Well, the thing is, I think you would use that more than the 600. Yeah. 600 is proper, it's like the Rolls Royce. Yeah. Come out every now and again. That's it. That's it. That's that all she wrote, guys. ships. So, yeah, so obviously, reset, you're going to have the Banu Defender, you're going to have the Cutter, and you're going to have the C2. C2. Uh, at some point, you're going to get the little red. Uh, I think if you're not going to use the Cutter, maybe trade that up in the, uh, for the little red. <coughs> if you I think we need, to start, that. We, need, we need to start using these ships. You know what I mean? Maybe do videos of living in the castle. Yeah. That would cost them. So maybe do need... Because I think with the, the videos of the trade, you know you're limited with like four boxes. Yeah. You could probably just do that and see how much money you make each time. Yeah. To, to 
yeah, then you obviously then you follow it through to the next ship and onwards, so to speak. So the, the cutter would be good for, say, like uh, Junk Town, so like when the Junk Town events on, it's, and you could just uh, throw loads of boxes into the back of your ship, and they were 10 grand each, so those in the, <coughs> in the Junk Town, like, so like Paradise Cove and Raven's Roost. Yeah. They're worth like, you know, 10 grand per little bundle that you can get, and if you can get, you know, 10 bundles on, you've got 100 yeah. grand. You know, it might take you, you know, 10, 15 minutes to do it, yeah. but it'd be easy just to throw in the back of the cutter. So I see the use yeah. for it in that, but you could probably put, do the same with the Pisces at, uh, X. It's, you know. There's other ships in there. You know, you look at the Cutlass and stuff like that. You know, Cutlass have probably got, you know, maybe 20, 20 or 18, 20 maybe, mm. like more. So that would be a block in the back of that. And we, 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 quite, we quite like the Cutlass Red, don't we? Because of the whole healing thing as well. Yeah. yeah. But it's just a little bit too big, I think. Yeah, especially now that they've got the uh, the little red. Yeah. Oh, it's red. It's just such a different blend. But yeah, that's my ships. I've enjoyed that. Um, any comments? Let us know what your opinions yeah. are. Um, whether you think that I'm talking rubbish and clearly, you know, I've got two, you know, wrong sort of idea of the game I don't know but, uh, judging yeah by my views games, over the years changed yeah but then I think money constraints is always going to be yeah the overwhelming factor isn't it I think oh, I can't really afford that then yeah and you know go in game like get it in game get the get the, the, get the Aurora I mean that yeah. was my original idea was I'm going to end up getting the Aurora because there's no way I could see myself spending hundreds of pounds and now I think I've spent 300 quid on the stuff I've yeah. got so uh, you know at the, at the time it's like I'll spend 40 quid and I'll play the game yeah. and um, but now look where I'm at but I would have quite easily been able to have done that with in-game credits whether the ships are available that I've got like I know the Miss Clay isn't so I'd have to you know I've gone for a freelancer if that's available in-game so obviously I would have had to work around that well, I think the thing is as well is like the wipes. I mean, we had no one for a while, you know. Yeah. So it's not been that 317, bad. 317, wasn't it? 374 or something like that. Yeah. So, you know, the wipes are a bit of a killer. That's why sometimes, you know, because you think I have to start again. Yeah. Yeah. But equally, you know, that's part of the game. Isn't Do you know the worst you know, part, part for me of the wipes is is. We like we've been waiting ages for 318, probably two months for 318, and yeah. since the announcement of 318 come in, we've literally not played the game as we normally play it. I like go and doing yeah. missions and stuff like that. We've literally just been waiting for that to happen, and that's the worst thing about. It. I'm not too bothered about losing the stuff. Uh, it's yeah. more about that waiting. Like if I knew it was going to come in two weeks, then I'd be fine. But we, you know, two months. It's like we've not played the game proper for two months. Limbo, would it? Yeah, but then once three eighteen comes out, we'll be good again. We'll be playing it for, for a good few months solid. It, it'll be it'll be cycles of you know three eighteen. You know, can the cargo runs actually work? You know, it's going to be obviously there'll be more people playing it, and then we'll probably get to another point where we're like in limbo again. we we'll wait for three nineteen. Yeah. So we carry on until there's more systems available. I can actually go out and. Uh, so you got cool like, cool writing on the boots here. Uh. Cool. Mm. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit. Another yeah, hiccup. Yeah. Another <laughs> Um. Yeah. So that's that's that. Obviously. So. Yeah. It's um. Good looking around your ships. I forgot you had so yeah. many ships actually. I forgot, you know, in my head you've only got, you know, the, the Banu Defender, the Cutter, and, and the C2 obviously because they're your pledges. I forgot that all the ones you bought in game. Yeah. I mean, again, that was a, that was a bonus, wasn't it? Yeah. It's to CIG. So when they they messed up the. Give everyone millions. <laughs> Give me 30 yeah, odd million. Yeah, yeah. That's how I was able yeah. to get the Carrick. Yeah. Um, and obviously, I had about. You know, about 
20 odd, I think you got. So straight away, I've already got the 600 eye. Yeah. So, as I said, 600 eye things will get a bit of a makeover internally, so that'd be interesting to see what they do with that. They make it a bit easier. Mm. Um, so at the moment, I've just got something here that I've not seen before. So above my water hydration thing, it's got a little plus sign, like a little medical sign. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know what that's about. That's new. I've not seen that before. Uh, yes, yeah, something like that, yeah. Quite a try again. Back on the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just look back on the video, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to call this one. I'm going to end it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, That's if good. you guys like the video, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification, as well as the thumbs up for us, guys. Tick that like button. And, um, yeah, we'll see you guys out in the verse. Again. Again. See you later.